Okay, <clears throat> still trying to trap these beavers. This is like second week. I'm in the process of learning. Uh, in fact, this weekend coming up, I've got a seminar to go to for two days of water trapping. And uh, one day is going to be all classroom, and the next day is going to be strictly in the field. I've got my chest waders. i got my long gloves. Um, i got all the trapping equipment that I'm going to need. Just now I need to be educated and learn what's going on. Anyways, this is what I've done so far at this spot. Um, as you can see, this spot here has been very active with beavers. And uh, I get them on camera right there every night for the last four nights. And uh, he mainly travels up this right here and this section up here. He was going over there by that log, but for some reason he stopped. Um, but right where those sticks are is a uh, 330 under the water. Um, I was hoping he'd come up through there, but... He hasn't. Ever since I put the trap there, he's only been coming up this area right there. Notice that little trap right there? I just put that in today. It's off to the right on a little ledge. So I'm hoping that he'll swim up there. And uh, like I said, it's offset to the right. And I'm hoping that he'll go ahead and, or it will, because I don't know if it's a he or a she, and uh, get his foot caught. And I don't know if you can see it through the water, um, but there's actually a drown cable right through there going over that way, over that way, and then down. And then uh, right where to the right of that tree reflection is where the cable and the brick is, the cinder block. So um, that's what we're hoping for. And then over here, let me walk over here real quick. I actually put three traps in the water today, or at least freshen one and put two in. There's the conner bear right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. Um, that's the 330. And I also made a little path and slicked it up with some fresh mud and put a little stick on the top for um, caster mound uh, scent. So hopefully, um, if he doesn't come up that way, maybe he'll go down that way. Um, so, and then back over here, I decided to try something new. And I've got to watch my footing. It's kind of steep here in this pond. Um, but I tried something different. Um, I went ahead and did the same thing over here with a 330 and uh, got it tied off to a log. But uh, put it right there. And uh, kind of made it so he could have to, he'd have to come up that way. And I put a caster scent right there on top of that mound. I actually made that mound myself. So hopefully he'll come up out of the water, smell it, and want to go over there and check it out. Um, but wish me luck. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm really stoked about that one over there, that, that foothold. I think it's going to work. Um, 330 over on that other log hasn't so and he's been really active right here. So let's see what happens Have a good day